Hey guys, you want to one and only? My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. I'm in the mood for a chilled out day today. I don't want to do too much thinking. So we're going to do the interior to the pet shop. We had it planned anyway, but I was unsure if I wanted to do it. But I'm just in one of those moods. I'm in an interior mood. So first things that we need to do when we're doing an interior is clean up. Because like, <laughs> like the inside of a t-shirt, you know when you turn a t-shirt inside out and it all looks weird? That's what a building in Minecraft looks like before you sort of tidy it all up. You know, we've got holes and weird parts all going on. So that's the first thing that we need to do, right? Now I'm only going to go up to this height. There's no point going up any higher. It'll just look weird. So our ceiling is going to be on the height of this green. So all I need to do is neaten up any holes and, and, and parts to that level. Also, don't set your expectations for the interior to this too high for, uh, for pet shop. Because... A pit shop has a lot of like tanks, fish tanks, a lot of cages for animals. And in Minecraft, we don't have the ability to do that too easily. So, I mean, I'm, go I'm doing this for a bit of fun. Just as sort of a, a little bit of an experiment more than anything. Uh, so I'm, I'm really not expecting great things out of it. Set clay. Oh, no, undo. Replace air with clay. That shouldn't bust anything on the outside then. And what is this? Oh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me just do one quick sweep around the exterior to make sure we didn't go out anywhere. I don't think I did because we're on this uh, green layer, which means it's sort of we get an extra block of, of mistake if we needed it but now we're good we're fine excellent so we've got a ceiling nice sort of uh, that's a very pet shop uh ceiling uh, texture i think that's like absolutely perfect for us uh and then i need the floor the floor i'd really like to have like uh tiles maybe quartz actually quartz would be perfect just do a test set quartz yeah, absolutely bang on what we need. Perfect. Clean, white floor. I've got to do it in sections. <laughs> uh, that one. That's a big one. Put that one. That one. Put that one. Put that one. All right, excellent. That's absolutely the perfect combination. I know it's dark in here. We'll get some lights down now. I think I can use Fleur. Oh, no, let's get the wall up to the staff room Ooh, first. Staff room or storage, whatever it's going to be. I think this is a nice color for the wall as well in here. But we might dress up. Uh, let's make that a little bit bigger. Uh, we might dress it up a little bit with uh, a colour that goes down at like a, a, a either red or green. Green probably because that's the colour that we're using on the outside. We'll try and sort of keep that theme on the interior as well. This is going to be that arch that goes into where the fish are. And I think we had like snakes or geckos or something like that planned there. Oh, it's dark. I'm sorry guys. It'll lighten up in in a minute. Larch on there as you go through. They usually have those hanging down. I think I like that better. They usually have those hanging down plastic strips, and you sort of walk through them, and they sort of always hit you in the face and hit the person behind you when you go through them. Uh, but yeah, cool. Right, fluorescent. And let's get some lights. Hopefully, the light will still travel. Yeah, it does. Yeah, light. The light travels enough to light up the bottom. Uh, that one and that one. And here, I don't have a middle point. So we have to go there and there to keep them symmetrical like. Same as here. And then, I think I'll keep them all facing the same direction. 
one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I've done that to be, oh no, it's not even in line with the, <laughs> I thought to do it in line with the window, but it's not gonna work. So we'll go there, Oops. five, this one, one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four. Cool. And then, I don't know, one at this side of the door and one at the other side. One, two, three, four. So that's in line with those blocks. So that's in line with these one, one, two, three, four. Right, bright enough for the interior. I'm happy with uh, that let's get these tills in now uh we're going to want to change those blocks up i think we'll use the green we'll we'll get green and we'll get lime and i think we'll have a nice strip around the building of green uh, of lime and then we'll use what do i want green and i think I think I like the green actually for the strip. Just on the areas of the light clay, we won't do it on the dark grey. Uh, on the dark, clay. oh yeah, I can't. Um, hmm. All right, maybe just on the walls that will allow us to, like this one. Just adds a little bit of detail, doesn't it? Gets rid of the the whole blocked wall look. Uh, slab. Mm. Now maybe I'll just put that in like that. I don't think I don't think we can do the arch and make it look good. And then we'll use lime, so just slightly different coloured grey for the uh, tills or the checkouts. But how are we going to do it? So we can have old uh, guy here and he's serving that way so we need stair oh no do I have a do I have a cash register that's one thing that we don't have I've always used stairs I never really thought about it but um oops it'd be cool if we actually had a block that was a cash register I'm surprised I don't actually no I have it on that side because they sort of scan that way don't they Uh, I don't think we need a conveyor belt. I don't think it's that kind of one. It's not a supermarket as such. You don't get a conveyor belt so often. Is that about the right size or do we want to like that? Do we want it smaller or larger? Is there still enough room to sort of walk down and get out? No, I think I like that. So we have that one. Then we'll have one here. So that person stands like that. And the people for that till sort of go down there. We could have it so it's... Oops. So they sort of stand in them like that. Oh, I'm making a mess there, aren't I? Trouble is, it now looks like they can be worked on both sides. No, I don't like that. Uh, that's it. No! <laughs> My finger's gone wrong. Um, yeah, so they walk down here. That guy's, uh, he, uh, beep, beep, and you pay and stuff. Yeah, 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 that should work out fine. Something's missing from it, and I don't quite know yet. Maybe a, a top on it. Is that different enough? Oh, I like that. Oh, I really, I really like that. Um, it's a shame I can't do, like, any plastic bags, like, hanging from the edge. Uh, that needs to go. And uh, I do have these ones, shop proper shop shelves. Perfect. And I can put stuff on there if I wanted to. It's a shame they don't wrap around like stairs. That would have been a really nice touch to do. But we also have... Um, 
Uh, don't we have larger ones? I'm sure I had a larger one. I might not have. I might not have. You can actually use those to actually buy and sell stuff, which is crazy. Uh, if you use on a server and stuff. Shift click them on. <laughs> that is cool, isn't it? Uh, we'll have another one here. I like the wall ones going one block higher, but then the middle ones being a little bit lower. I think that looks, I think it, that's pretty decent. We'll have some down the front here. It's like little short ones in front of the window. I can't really get them there as well. I think that's too much. I don't, I don't like that. Right, that's enough. It's a, you don't get too much shelving in the pet store. You usually just get the pets, don't you? But if we could get, like, I don't know, one going this way, that'd be nice. Like, right in line with that bit. That's too long. Just fills up that last bit of space, doesn't it? Still a lot of room, still a nice amount of room to be able to walk around and stuff like that. Plenty of room. Right. I'm happy. I'm good with this. Let's get this room done. Fish tank room. It's the easiest one, so we'll start with that. Um, I want something along the bottom, like a, a grey... Yeah, um, cyan clay is perfect. And then we'll have sponge as the base of the water and then i might try panes first just so we actually can see some depth from the clay to the glass if you use full blocks it's all in line it looks a little bit flat and then uh water i need to Get on this block. Uh, I need to be careful not to blow the uh, fluorescent bulbs. That's why I keep accidentally clicking on them. Huh? <laughs> Alright, plan B. I did not know that that was a thing. I don't remember that being a thing. Uh, what we'll do then? There's an easy fix for this. We use blue. <laughs> Problem solved. Now it looks like there's water behind it now. Now I could, ooh, I could if we were clever, get that back. Cause that back wall there. Is only this wall and I could move that over by a block move that down take that one away and then put that along here well, I should really actually sort of do the back first yeah Just trying to get it to look a little bit like a fish tank from the back side. Um, even if I just put this in or something. Or I don't know. More blue? Like a darker blue? Like a darker blue wool. And then this wool will then hide up that. The lights still look fine in there. Can I put those... Yeah, good. Yeah, that's alright. That still looks like a little fish tank. But can I get it so, like, there's fish? Like, even if it's just like a redstone, it just fires a fish. In the newest version of Minecraft, we actually have 3D model fishes now, don't we? Why does it look dark outside? Oh, it's raining, that's why. Like, I could just tell it was dark. I don't know how. Um, like, how could we do that, though? Can I put...
No. Oh, that would have been really cool. I might have to. Yeah, that's cool, right? Like, like little seaweed bits in there. That might do, actually. I think that gives a good impression, like, of, a, of, of water behind there. I mean... Like... Does it work? Does this work like this? I can't even remember. I think it's going to fire out, though, isn't it? It's going to fire towards me. It's going to push it back, isn't it? Oh, no, cool. Excellent. All right, then. Uh, fish? Fish? Uh, not cooked ones. <laughs> Perfect. So obviously they'll despawn after five minutes, but we can always refill the fish tank. Oh, what a puffer fish. We can always refill it, like, whenever we come down here. There's a puffer fish. Even though they're even bobbing up and down like they're in the water. It's even like a real pet shop. When they despawn after five minutes, it's like the fish have died and they've had to get more. Because they always die in pet shops. It's a sad thing, isn't it? The fish don't last too long in pet shops. That's amazing. That's just made this entire episode worth it. Uh, for this side, we're going to have sand. But I'd like to divide it up a little bit more. So we'll have, like, little single ones is what I was thinking. I know, I know this, this, this is like small cage, but it doesn't matter. It's not real. Oops, I told you I'd delete that stupid lamp. I always do. And then they're always different. Even though your mouse, middle mouse click it always doesn't give you the right one. Perfect. It's a bit of a shame that that's sort of out, isn't it? But oh well. Uh, so on the inside here... I mean, this is going to be where, like, snakes and stuff would be, like, reptiles. But I can't really think of something that we could put in there to look like a reptile. I mean... Get a cactus in one of them. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can place buttons downwards. Nope. I was just trying to, like, put something in there. And even a trap door. No, because you can't see the sand then. I don't know. Glass. We're, we're, we're a bit already being creative. You know, you've got to be really, really creative to do this kind of thing. But, yeah, sand, sand, cactus. That's brilliant, though. That's quality. Okay. Uh, over this side, we have the hamster cages. This one, I think we can do something maybe a little bit different on. So we have, we start off with that and that. Um, oh no, that should be right. Slab. So like that that would be like one cage, that would be another cage. Do you know what I mean? Rabbits would be in there, hamsters, guinea pigs, that sort of thing. What's on this side? What did logs mean? I can't remember what logs meant. Can you remember what logs meant? Well, you know what, we might just do more of these. I think these work really well for what, what we're trying to sort of do with them. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get one in there, am I? I 
I'll take that out though and extend that by a block. Just trying to eke out every single spare block we can. Mm hmm. I can't put a trap door there. Like they're going to go there and there. So it mirrors the other side. And I think we're going to have to just do that, aren't we? I mean, the, most pet shops sell, I, I think pet shops sell the most rabbits and guinea pigs and stuff. So we should allocate the largest area to it. That's cool. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Uh, something on the floor. Because we're looking very white now. We're looking a little bit too clean. I want to sort of dirty it up a little bit somehow. Or maybe just like putting more detail in would work. Like getting this one. Try and do something nice down here. I can finish off there. This one can go that way. I can run it underneath there. Bring it out on this side. There's no point going in there. So we'll just run it down there. Same as there's no point going into the rabbit area. It's not big enough to do like a decent sized loop. There we go. That certainly makes a big difference. Still something. Hang on. I reckon we can get more. I can get. I reckon we can get another shelf out here to use up some of this room. We have one there. And then one there. Right. That's better, right? I know it's not quite in line with the door, but it's in line with this door, which is the important one. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I like that. Right. Um, what else can I do? I could put some little shelves on there. There. So this is, yeah, come in. Might have some dog leads hanging up and uh, things like that. They always have. Now I can't. I I can't make it really look like what I want. But they always have that um, machine that makes um, like the what are they called the dog tags and cat tags, and you can choose like from the love heart, or the circle, or love heart shape whatever they are and you like engrave your pet's name on it and like telephone number they always have that every pet shop has that what are they called um name tag bad N name tag engraver is that you spell engraver i think so yeah you can sort of make it there there's always one nobody knows how to use it and they have to call over like the manager and he doesn't really know and you'd have thought they'd have learned it uh painting <laughs> i've had some experience can you tell um yep 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 Yep. Anything else? I think we're pretty good, right? Uh, staff room. Um, table. Yeah, nice sort of grey desk. It's perfect. Might be able to get a couple of desks in, actually, if we do it like this. Like that. That's better. 
chair. I don't really want to go with the same colour. I think I'll go with wood so it just stands out a little bit. Like a couple of offices. Um, pressure plate. Laptop. Laptop. Painting. Computer monitor. Computer monitor? I know it's facing the other way. That screen's on. That screen's off. Okay. And then that's the fish uh, activator. Then what do we want in here? If I put another dispenser down. Um, red. Uh, placeholder should be the same red. Yeah. Slab. Button. And then, um, was it apples? I think, oh yeah, apples is what I made into like Coca-Cola. There. there we go, little drinks machine in the staff room. I think that's pretty good. Uh, I think that'll do. We'll put, um, can I put like an actual door on here? That doesn't look like just terrible. Why is that car in here? It's got a door in the back or something. Like why does that come up under door? really nice model it's got like the dog cage in the back doesn't it like dog barrier really nice model actually i've never seen that one before c6 i have to remember that like see none of them just look like i could put like a transparent door on it but why but it just doesn't make sense there's no normal like that's like as close to like a staff door as i can get i think yeah, that'll do. Carpet. Shelf. Uh, that's nice. That'll do. That's all I need. I'm not going crazy with the staff room. I think we're about there, guys. Uh, if we get NPC one, big, hide the name, grab ourselves someone that looks like he would be serving. He looks like they're serving. That's a lovely skin, that is. Perfect. He's fast food, but he looks like a sort of worker with a name badge. Um, I don't want him to be moving on, like, like, like actual walking. So I think he's, is he on one, is he on wandering? Movement. Standing, yeah, good. I don't think there's anything else that I really need, is there? Nothing's going to change it. Nope, cool. Cape. Oh, no way. That's pretty cool. Anyway. Cape. How do I take the cape off? I'll just delete him. And we'll get the same guy again. Where was he? Fast food, wasn't he? <laughs> Couple of them serving on the till. Um, I can copy, can't I? Uh, cloner, mob cloner, um, worker, save, worker, spawn, worker, spawn, worker, spawn. There we go. So we've got some, some workers in here as well to finish it off. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it there. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. Um, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. And I think we should see you guys in the next episode. Bye.